kids playing between garbage and filth is an everyday picture in Freyhund. Freyhund, a so-called township, is located 25 kilometers south of Cape Town. Emerged as a home for fishermen and their families, Freyhund is one of the oldest informal settlements in Cape Town. Due to tremendous immigration from different backgrounds, it became a multi-ethnic dwelling place. According to estimations, it is home to more than 40,000 people living in a confined space. The housings are rare, small and mostly out of metal, the so-called shacks. Only few residents can afford to live in brick houses with running water, which improves the living conditions at least a bit. One of the biggest issues is the lack of education and employment. Two out of three people are unemployed. At the same time, the high criminal rate comes up as a serious hazard for the community. The ones suffering the most from these living conditions are the children. They are left at the streets neglected and vulnerable. Here they have to experience a social environment that is intensively affected by violence, gangsterism and drug abuse, which has a devastating effect on the children. They have to live with the challenges such as trauma, physical disability, mental retardation and learning disabilities. At this point, the Butterfly Art Project steps in. The Butterfly Art Project is a non-profit organization established to provide therapeutic, educational and other support to children in Freyhund and the surrounding communities. Our vision is to reach out to the underprivileged communities through the medium of art to encourage empowerment and healing. We encourage the children to explore their own creativity and to discover their uniqueness and of course that helps them to stand up for their own rights and to be more active in creating their own life in a very, very harsh environment. Offering only art courses and art therapy in various disadvantaged communities at the beginning of the project, the Butterfly Art Project experienced an enormous growth. Today it is based on five different departments, the art class, the preschooler program, art therapy, aftercare and the community art facilitator training. The most important cornerstone of the Butterfly Art Project is the art therapy. Growing up in Freichwand means you are exposed to a very unstable life and every day could bring a very unpleasant surprise. We assume that 100% of the children are traumatized, most of them are highly traumatized and they're actually in the need of trauma therapy. So working with the clay, holding this very strong material in your hand grounds you and brings you in contact with something reliable you can hold on to and you can experience very good that everything you do with the clay got an effect and you're not a victim. Art therapy is not the only program the Butterfly Art Project offers the children. Furthermore, the Butterfly Art Project has a close relationship with the Capricorn Primary School. We offer art classes to 400 children per week from Capricorn Primary School. Each class, it's 15 classes in total, is given an hour's art lesson per week. What we really strive to do in the art classes and through the activities is to nurture the creativity of the children and to cultivate a culture of acceptance of each other's individuality and creativity. They learn the language of art, the elements of art, and in these various activities of painting, drawing, modeling, there's no right or wrong, so each child gives their own answer. Besides teaching art to the school children, the Butterfly Art Project runs a school readiness program through art. At the moment, we've got 90 children who attend the preschool program every week. In average, we see about 18 children a day. These children, they do come to us uh, for two hours a day. The aim of the preschool program is to help the informal preschools in Capricorn with school readiness through art. When they come to us, we empower them with the necessary tools, skills that they need before a child is ready for grade one. The pre-writing skills, the manipulative skills, the gross motor skills, the hand and eye coordination. 
and they do a variety of activities that require them to think outside the box. In order to provide a structured course of the day, in the afternoon as well as in the morning, the Butterfly Art Project offers an after-school care program. The role of the aftercare in the Butterfly Art Project is first of all to create a safe and fun environment and a positive climate for the children. A place where they can develop their artistic skills and social skills after school. We currently have 34 children in our aftercare program. They come every afternoon from Monday to Thursday. At the moment we are working on the theme Our City. The kids are creating their own city with their own inhabitants and they call it Butterfly City. We try to provide lots of different activities for them so they can develop the skills they will need later in life. Since 2012, the Butterfly Art Project has started another project focusing on the training of adults. We believe that there can never be enough art out there in the community, so we decided to train adults to become community art facilitators. We train them in artistic skills and in art facilitation. In the end of the community art facilitator training, the participants have to bring a portfolio and present to us that they learned something and that they achieved something. There would be a lot of artworks inside, but also they have to write up lesson plans and reports of experiences to prove their skills. We love the butterfly art programs and everything we do here. And we would like to thank all the supporters. And please don't forget us and become a butterfly supporter. I think the most important message we've got for the children is that healing is possible, that there is a way to engage with life for a better future, for a greater future and everything what you carry with you, what hurts you and makes you feel sad, it actually is allowed to heal and can pass.